In this video, we're going to be diving into a head to head comparison with two powerful AI presentation tools, Pop AI and Gamma. Both of these are going to be making manual creation of presentations a thing of the past. Now, on this video, I'll be comparing both of these head to head with the same prompt to find out which one creates the best content, best visuals, and ease of use. So let's go check them out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? On this video, I want to compare to you these two AI presentation creators that I think are worth checking out. One of them is Pop AI, and the other one is Gamma. So on this video, to be fair, I'm going to generate the same presentation with the same prompt. So we're going to see what results we're going to get and what we can do with these presentations after we generate these results. So you can see what features we're going to get and what results we're going to get with this output. So let's get started. Okay. So first off here, I got pop AI. And as I said before, I'm going to use the same prompt for both of these. Okay. So this is going to be my prompt and it's kind of a little complex and it's really important that the content is spot on because obviously we're talking about something really important. We're talking about taxes for an LLC, all right? So it's going to be complex and we're going to see what results we're going to get. Okay. So first of all, pop AI gives you several options on this prompt. So we can add a prompt right here and then we have the option for it to go online, find information that's relevant and add it to this presentation. All right. There's also the option here to add a document. So it gives it more information that's relevant to generate the presentation. And I can also use my prompts if I have these saved. Okay. And the next thing I want to show you is we have two options with pop AI. We can use GPT 4.0 or we can use standard, which is using G large. I really like this option because we're going to get different results from what we're going to get with other type of AI presentations out there because they're using most of them are using GPT 4.0. So we got two options here. Okay. So let's go ahead and kick this off. And while that is being done, let's go ahead and jump over to Gamma. All right. So let's go into Gamma. And again, we're going to use the same prompt for this. Okay. So in Gamma, we're going to go create a new AI. And we have three options with Gamma. You either have the option to paste in text, notes, outlines, etc. You can generate it via a prompt, which is what we're going to do. And you can also import a URL. Now, one thing I really dislike about Gamma is that we don't have the combination of these three. In Pop AI, we do have that. Remember, we can add the prompt, we can add the file, we can go online, and it gives us way more options with that. In this case, we don't, right? In this case, let's go ahead and jump this to 10 cards. And we have three options here, which I do like. You get the option for a presentation, a website, and document. But in this case, we are going to compare apples with apples and pears with pears. So this we're going to create a presentation, okay? It's in English. Let's go ahead and add our prompt here and let's generate the outline, right? Now, this one is really quick in this sense. So it gives us an outline what it's going to be talking about. And we can edit this. Now, before we check this out, let's go into Pop AI. Now, in Pop AI, here is the outline that we're going to be looking at. And the idea of this outline is for us to kind of understand what the presentation is going to be about and making sure that it has the de details that we're going to need. Now, first off, we can just go ahead and write this off as it is. And this, that's the way we're going to do it because we're not going to edit anything to be fair with both of the results. Okay. So in this case, it's talking about annual license tax. We have some uh, amounts here, dollars. We got some information, some percentages, which I think is pretty good. It's information that's relevant and we need to have that information. And now we have the option to create the presentation right now, or we can record something to write in case we need to modify something. So let's just say that hypothetically, we're going to say we know that something's missing there that should be there. We can go ahead and type it in and it could rewrite the outline. So then we can go ahead and generate the presentation. It's going to generate the, the second outline to give us the structure for this before we actually generate the presentation. Okay. Okay. So in Gamma, while that is being written, so this is the outline that wrote for us. Um, it's pretty much basic here. We don't have a lot of information that we can go with to generate to the next step, but it just gives us a one to 10 points, which is going to be in each one of these single cards for the presentation. Now we can go ahead and edit these manually, but if we're good to go, we're going to go ahead and continue. Here we go. Next thing is going to ask us is to select a theme. So in this case, um, there's several themes available here. Here we go. Um, let's use something that looks a little bit nice. I like that little gradient purplish. Okay. Let's go ahead and generate. And the presentation is now being created. So let's give it a few seconds for that. And pop AI just finished off with the second outline. Now in the second outline, we are going to get more information before we actually create the presentation, which I think is a really great idea. So we have like that basic outline that it created in the beginning. And now we have this one where it has more information. It's more robust. And again, we have to go ahead and check it out, see if everything's fine. If we need to add something and if we need to modify something, we can do so by just clicking inside of here. 
and if it's good to go or we need to change something we have the chat option here to regenerate the outline or fix something you know what i know that the tape the tax is five percent instead of four or something like that and it'll modify it for us in this case we're good to go let's go ahead and create the presentation and let's give it a few minutes for both of these to finish off and give us the presentation to see what results we're gonna get okay both presentations are now done and i must say that one really has me blown away but check them out for yourself okay so this is pop ai let's go really quickly through this here's the generated information for this presentation good looking we got some gradients nice images etc looking good all right in gamma again we have the presentation here we go here's the slides again looking good looks nice we got some nice colors nice images and we're good to go okay so let's get started with pop ai let's let me go through really quickly with for the information i'm not going to read everything but just kind of get the idea of what it actually wrote to see if it's relevant and if it's good and if it's something that if someone receives this this presentation will get something out of it i mean if it's interesting are they going to learn are they going to get some insights on this and let's see it so we got the tax benefits for llc we got some information here i like to see for example for this particular document some percentages some prices of things that we had to pay for example minimum fee so that's important i need to know that i need to pay minimum fee asset-based tax calculation we got tax rate structure again the 50 dollars minimum fee we got pros and cons we got some final annual reports we got the one through three for this key deadlines and submissions so we got an idea here okay consequences of late fill filling which is really important and additional tax considerations we got some percentages here so the state state tax is four percent okay that's good local tax obligations which i think is interesting and here's the presentation right see got some more information now before i show you what we can do with this particular document again let's go check out gamma because we want to be it, we want to have a fair comparison of both of these okay so here we go so here's the information that the ai on gamma wrote understanding wyoming llc structure okay that's that's good tax considerations for wyoming llc um okay nah, pretty, a, little, a little bit basic there federal tax obligations isn't this the same as the past one so considerations and obligations kind of kind of the same tax payment for wyoming llc Okay, this is interesting. Form 1040, which I think that's really interesting. All right, let's see. Deducting and credits for Wyoming LLC. Uh, reporting and filling requirements. Again, we got some forms here. Good information, relevant. Um, I haven't found information for percentages or minimum payments. Uh, okay, that, that wasn't mentioned. So, okay. I mean, I, I don't want you to think that I'm leaning one more than the other, but let's be realistic the information if i read this this is like a general document that's like a a, a pamphlet that i'm just gonna read and it's just overall information and if i receive this one and i read this one with that information that i know whoa spot on i need to pay 50 bucks minimum even if i don't sell if nothing's happening the structure the tax and what's gonna happen if i don't file my annual report the fees etc this is relevant information that i feel that I think it's interesting and it's nurturing me knowing what I need to do for my taxes with this document. So in terms of content, this one wins it. All right. Clear winner. All right. Now, when it comes to the actual features of what we can do with each one of these two, let's find out. Okay. So again, we're in pop AI and we can go ahead and change the images and the content just by clicking in this section. I could just go ahead and type in and change this, or I can go ahead and highlight this and I can make it longer, I can make it shorter or continue. So the AI is going to do its job as it says there, okay? Now, in terms of images, I can go ahead and shuffle again. So it generates another image. I can upload my own. I can use the gallery from my project history, from Pop AI Gallery and Theme Gallery. And I can use AI image to do an AI image search. And I can go ahead and clear this off, okay? So that's in terms of that. Now, if I need to change the theme in this, I go ahead and click on themes and here are the themes available for this. I just go ahead and select it and it's going to go ahead and change it like that. So if I want different colors, I can do so by selecting these options. So let's do green for money. <laughs> That's just that one, right? Let's go ahead and confirm. Now, one of the things I do think the pop AI should really work on is the option to use AI again to continue or modify the presentation. In this case, we have to go back to the outline mode to modify this. So I'm going back to the outline and then I have to go ahead and regenerate the presentation. So it's going to go ahead and update it. Now, good thing about this is that it's not going to take a credit. So 
eh, it's not that bad because it doesn't take a credit. You're still using your own credit that you used already for creating this one. It's just going to update the presentation. So we have to go to the island to go ahead and regenerate the presentation. So I think that they have to do a workaround there to kind of let us update aspects of the presentation that's already created there. OK, now let's go to Gamma. In terms of Gamma, let's go back here. One of the things I got to give them props is the available options that we have on Gamma for beautifying our presentation to make it even better. OK, so first off, let's go ahead and go into Im images. So we have the option to drag in an image. I have the option to download. I have the option to change the style here. So if I want to change the image to the right, I can go ahead and change it to the top. Accent image, change colors, content alignment, backdrops, a little bit more uh, settings in that sense. And then I have with AI, I can improve writing, fix spelling, grammar, etc. And we have all these options available. And same thing goes if I highlight the text. Again, I have the option to make this bold, italic, etc. The basics and I have the AI. Again, we can do more engaging, expand text, which is more or make it shorter. Visual key points, just images, a little bit more options there. Now on the right, we have options available to add blocks to our presentation. So I can add card templates and there's several templates available. Let me go through these really quickly. So if I want to drag inside one of these that are pre-built templates, I can just go ahead and drag it inside. There's also smart layouts where you can do columns and separate things at image text and do a lot of things with these columns. You got your blank layouts. You got again, templates here. For example, if you want to create a timeline, you can do so through here. There's also basic blocks. So these blocks are available. You got images, you got videos and media by these providers or uploading. You got embed, you got charts and diagrams. I really like this option. The only downside to this is that if we add a chart, we have to manually add the details. So I wish that would be tied to the AI and let us generate the chart with AI, which would make it more appealing and interesting because if we drag one, one of these inside of here and I'll just drag this for testing. Okay. We have to manually do everything here. So it's, it doesn't know it's about tax. It's not doing anything like that, but I really love that option. All right. Now let me go ahead and command C to delete that. And the last option is forms and buttons. You got all those options available here. Now, in terms of themes, you can go ahead and change it by clicking it here and you can go ahead and select another theme. So if I select this theme, there we go. It just changed it really quickly just like that. All right. Now, in terms of sharing, let's go back to pop AI. Once you're good to go, you like your form, you edit what you needed, etc. And you're good to go. Let's click on share and you got the option to copy link and you got the option to download or do presentation. So we can go ahead and present it here to go ahead and view it in Gamma. You have more options in that sense. So if we go to share. We have the option to collaborate with team members. You have the option to share here by using a link. So if you share this link, they can go ahead and preview this right now. You can export it via PDF, PowerPoint, PNGs, etc. And for the embed feature, you can embed this on a website without the need to upload it on a website, just using that code. So that is this comparison for both of these really good presentation creators out there. Now, the results for this, what do I think at the end of the day of these two? First of all, I'm using Pop AI. That's what I use. And the reason for this is because Pop AI provides me better information that's relevant in my presentations. So the idea that it's already giving me relevant information that I know someone is going to need is really important for me. For me, a presentation that looks beautiful is not as important as the presentation that gives me the information that I need. I would have to do a lot more tweaking in terms of the prompt and redoing things here for the content that I would be doing over here on Pop AI. Now, on the other hand, if you are doing presentations to sell something like you want to make it beautiful, then I definitely think that Gamma has an upper hand on the sense where it looks you have the options to modify this even more add some more blocks, add some charts, etc. And in that sense, I think Gamma has the upper hand. But as I mentioned before, for me, presentations, it's more about the content that's super relevant and important for me than the way it looks. So you have both of these options that I think are really great options. You can go ahead and check out the links in the description for Pop AI and Gamma. Do let me know in the comments what you think about these two and which one is your favorite. Why would you choose one or the other? And that's a wrap.